Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another episode of Smithbusters. And today we're going to look at the myth that having the bullet set back in the case, for whatever reason, will blow your gun up. Caleb, what is bullet setback? So bullet setback, uh, and before we get into it, I just want to you know throw this out there and say that this one, like a lot of our um, other ones are getting to be, this is a user requested Smithbuster. Oh, you're not going to take credit for it yourself. No, I'm Great. not. Not this time. Maybe other times. But we'll see what the future holds. Fine. The week is still young. But um, no, so bullet setback is exactly what it sounds like. And if you look at these examples here, this is a cartridge where the bullet is set as it should be, as normal. And this is one where it's set back. Now, it's set back into the case, and the reason is, is because it's, it's jammed up against something, uh, which in most cases is the feed ramp. Right. And after chambering and unloading, like for example, uh, this is just an example, if you have a carry gun and you unload it every night and then load it every morning, uh, that round over time after hitting that feed ramp over and over and over again is going to eventually start to set back and that's where you get bullet set back. It is definitely something to be concerned about. Uh, if you've done any hand loading for pistol calibers uh, like the 9mm, um, you know that there's not a whole lot of extra room inside that case. There is not. Uh, so compressing that charge can cause a spike in chamber pressure, uh, which can cause serious damage to your firearm. That's true. And uh, if you're loading and you're doing max loads, or if you're shooting plus P plus loads or something, and that bullet gets pushed back, your pressure's going to go up. Now, most guns are 100% safety tested. I mean, 100% over what their running pressure is. That's the safety factor, but... right. Not always. I mean, there's a lot of nine millimeters out there. There's a lot of nine. There's a lot of everything out there. Forty fives, you name it. Yep, exactly. Um, so yeah, it, I would say it is definitely something to be concerned about. And you know, for all uh, all intents and purposes, we'll say that it it can cause your gun to blow up. Right. Or at least beat the heck out of it. Yeah. At the very minimum, it's you're going to notice some increased uh, increased wear. Right. And uh, the nine millimeter isn't real bad about this, but if you push that uh, bullet in, the case starts to swell because it tapers on the inside and when the bullet hits that, it grows the case. So not only can it cause more pressure, but it can cause feeding problems. You might not even get to the pressure point because it won't go all the way in the chamber. Right, which uh, presents a whole nother set of issues in a self-defense scenario because if you, let's say you cycle that round that you unloaded, uh, that was set back underneath the next round. So now you have a round that chambered you're using it in a self-defense scenario, and you only get to fire one shot because your next round, because it's swollen, is jammed in the chamber. Uh, right. And it's going to be extremely hard to clear because it's going to be stuck in there, uh, which creates a, I mean, it's, it's obvious uh, that that's certainly an issue. So and It seems like this pops up more in hand loading. Right. And a lot of that has to do with the variety of cases you might be loading with. I mean, one case that gives you a nice snug tension on your bullet the next one comes along, it might have thinner walls and that crimp doesn't quite do the job or the sizing die doesn't size it quite down far enough. Yep, so it's, it's definitely a big issue in hand loading. And some designs are more prone to this than others. For yep. example, a Glock feeds a cartridge straight in, pretty much, just like a Beretta 92. Whereas if you go with a 1911 or a high power with a more ramped style feed ramp, that's when that bullet hits a wall and has to skip off it. And if the crimp isn't right, if the tension isn't right, it can drive back in the case on its way up into the chamber. And then you get a boom in the middle of your string of boom, 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 boom. Right, yeah, <laughs> which is not something you, uh, which can certainly be surprising and it's not something yeah. you ever really want to run into. And it's not specific to pistol calibers either. No, it's not. Uh, this can also happen in rifle calibers. And as, we, as I mentioned before, um, it's a bigger issue with pistol calibers because of the lack of room in the case. Uh, a lot of rifle cartridges have a little bit more room there, yeah. but you can still notice a big decrease in uh, accuracy of that particular shot because the bullet jump's gonna be completely different, uh, which is a whole another set of issues. Just know that in any circumstance, it's, it's not ideal. Right, and if you've charged like your AR or something and it didn't go and you pull that handle back, you look in there, and that round's sitting there waiting to go in, but you notice the bullet's set back, you probably want to dump that one and take the next one out of the magazine. It's, it's just not worth it. Yeah. So that myth is very, very plausible because it can damage your gun. I don't know if it'll make it blow up. The right gun, the right load, it could happen. 
especially with a high, you know, like a 10 millimeter or 40 caliber or something really running at high pressure, oh, 9 yeah. by 23. Yep. So, yeah, I'd be careful. But that myth, that myth is no myth. It's, it can happen. Absolutely. If you've ever had this happen to you, please let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. I personally have had some near misses. I caught it in time and dumped it out. But, uh, you know, you're not always that lucky. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters.